Alright guys, um, I think I've waited long enough to make this review. Um, I've got a few requests trying to get a review on the Motorola Motolux, and I decided I'd f now that I have time I'd finally make my review. As you can see I have my purple case that I talked about. Here I'll take that off, just one sec. Alright. Put that to the side. Sorry if the video is in pretty bad quality because this is my sister's phone. Um, now that I now that I'm doing a review on my phone, I can't use my phone to record, so it's not going to be as good quality. But whatever, it's all I can do right now. Um, all right, so let's start off here. First off, we have an eight megapixel camera right here. Now, to a lot of people that say that this is a bad camera, I disagree with that very strongly. One sec, I'll get on the camera. I clicked the wrong button. One sec. It's hard to do with just this hand because this is not the hand I use. Alright, this is the camera right here. Alright, as you can see, it's perfectly fine. But because this is a better camera on my phone than the one I'm using right now, it's not going to be exactly that good. It also has FaceTime on it. If you go right here and you click switch cameras, hold on, you'll see a little camera. Well, it's hard to see on this camera, but there's a little thing right here, a little circle. What that is is a FaceTime camera, so you can record your face like directly, but I can't do that right now because I have the phone right in front of me, so... But anyway, the phone is really fast if you use these few things that I was talking about. First off is the launcher. The launcher you're going to want, one sec. Just have to switch my hands. First one, okay, you go to your Play Store, right? Just wait for that to upload. Look up Launcher, Launcher Pro. And this is right here, okay? Now, I already have it installed, but what this does is you can do a lot more with your phone and customize it a lot more. And you can also um, speed it up a lot. Another thing you're going to want is this right here. Right here, Speed Booster. What it does is it deletes any cache, any kind of things that take up. See, I have a few things on there slowing down my phone. All you do is click Instant Boost. You'll see it's what it's all doing. Then it'll tell you your results, four applications closed, the cache is cleared, click OK, and then it's done. Then the phone should go really fast. Another thing, you don't really need it, but a lot of phones do use it, it's called the Advanced Task Killer. You look up Advanced Task Killer Free, and you put on the, um, the app, all you have to do is click that, six apps killed. There you go makes a lot faster alright so a few other things too one of the things would be yes you can have unlimited messages on your phone what it does is when you get to 200 texts in each category this is a category right here if I click that it'll show all the messages from that specific person and when it reaches uh, uh, 200 then um, it automatically deletes the oldest te uh, text in your phone. I'm pretty sure you can take that off, but I didn't because I like it to delete the old text so I don't have to worry about it. Right now my phone's almost dead because I haven't charged it. It's at 15%, so it might not be as fast right now because it's halfway dead. But what can I do? Um, yes, it, it, it does come with Facebook. It comes with YouTube. It also comes with things such as Twitter. One sec, I have to get to that. Right here, Twitter. These are things that it comes with. Okay. And yes, it does support games. I have a game right here, World War, that I barely play. It also comes with a game called Uno HD. 
Okay, and a few other things that come with this phone. First off, you don't have much memory in the phone itself. You have, I think, 800 megabytes. However, the phone does come with a free um, SD card. I think it's one or two gigabyte SD card. And I will get that out for you right now. You take off the metal back cover. Now right here, you can see right there, comes with the micro SD card, the SIM card, and your battery, and that's all. Put that back on quickly. Alright, the camera does have a flash, too. If you want that, you can turn it off, or you can make it automatic. Another cool feature with this phone is the brightness. Depending on whether how dark it is, if it if you like put your thumb over the phone when you have it activated what happens is the phone dims or gets brighter so then it can make it so you can see better depending on your like where you are and like the brightness of the like outside and stuff so it, do, it does that for you I don't have that activated right now because I've been in my house today so it's pretty much the exact same as it would usually be and everything else on this phone is anything just like a normal Android phone. This phone runs pretty fast. It's for the price of it, it runs faster than my brothers and sisters Galaxy um the Galaxy W. I think that's what they got. Um but yeah, this thing just if you, if anything any other normal smartphone can do, this thing can do the exact same. And as you can see, the widgets where it shows the contacts, that those big circle things with like the bunch of squares, as a lot of people show, I did take mine off, and a few people were asking me if you could do that. Yes, you can. See, and you can also set the amount of pages you want on your phone. I put two. You can get, you have music on your phone. You can also get things to download free music. You can get a flashlight app. Um, what the flashlight app does is. And you turn it on, it turns on your light so you can see. Right here, it's the volume rocker, camera button, the uh, lock button, and this is where you charge your phone. And there's the little uh, lanyard. All right. So, and this right here lights up blue. The lanyard it lights blue when you get a message. And it um, lights up red when your battery's dying, and it lights up orange when it's charging. And it stays blue when it's done charging. Right here, you have your notifications. It shows anything that's going on, things like that. See, Twitter right here comes stock on the phone. All right, and see right here, you can navigate from page to page like this. So anything a normal Android phone can do, this can do. And, yeah, that's about it. If you guys have anything else you guys would like me to talk about on this phone that a lot of other people haven't really made clear, I'd be more than happy to do so. Alright, uh, take care, guys. Peace out.